Hey there guys and welcome to another review um, Today I'll be doing Clam Antivirus uh, It isn't really an antivirus actually but the name says antivirus um, mainly because it's a cloud so anyone who is infected uh, lets Clam know automatically and uh, they put it into sort, sort of like a signature so everyone's protected um, it's updated, it always updates by itself. Uh, it's got a nice looking interface and um, it says it's not updated, but I just updated it. I'll show you here. Oh, it's still downloading the update. So, what I'll do is I'll pause the video while that's updating and I'll just show you that it's using about 100 megs of RAM, which is very, very um, heavy. But I think that's because it's updating at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll wait for it to um, update, and then we'll uh, recheck the the amount of memory that it's using. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back here. The uh, updates have installed, and so everything seems to be in order. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to have a look at the resource usage now it seems to have gone up so a very 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 heavy application um, so if you haven't got that much RAM you might want to look out um, I can already feel my computer slowing up a little bit so uh, we'll have to look out for that so we'll get straight into these links those links Okay, it doesn't seem to be responding. All the new tab there. Might be learning something in the background. And it seems dead. Um, links are unfortunately dead. What I'll do is I'll just close some of these programs. It's slowing the, the PC down quite a bit. Sorry about that guys, I just had to answer the phone. Okay, I'm back. Um, next link. Wow, this is uh, probably one of the biggest fails ever. Um, download. Hmm. It's biting a lot. Here we go. So here's an executable. Seems to be just freezing out. Second. Um, Nothing seems to be spawning yet, um, unless it's hijacked one of the existing processes. So, um, we'll carry on here. Mm. It's getting annoying, it's lagging up a lot. Mm. 
Mm hmm. So this redirected us to somewhere. Now it could have been something hijacking. Yeah. That's a little bit suspicious. So here we go, there's a file for me to run. Okay, so it's the first uh, thing's been detected. Which is quite good. So. So it's got that one. Right, so we have to all of these. What I'll do is I'll go grab some more upwards. Fair enough. They're definitely not working. Okay, so we got that one. Next one. This one's quite deadly, I think. slow internet speed. Alright, so it's got another one. I think what's happening is this one with this keep is keeps being detected is respawning itself constantly. It's constantly being blocked. So what I might do is I'll have a look at the quarantine. Just have a look what is actually happening. Yes, it keeps getting the same one. Um, hmm. Where do I find it? Summary settings, problem settings. Um, it does not look in. You can't access the quarantine really. All right, so. Something ran then, not too sure, but it got through. So, this one is the Trojan Removal Kit, and this has been in the past couple of reviews, and it is deadly, very deadly. So, this one really sort of decides whether or not it protects you. Okay, so. Seems to have got that one. Alright, so we have something called agent.exe, so I'm not too sure what that is. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up Process Explorer and we'll have a look at uh, what's, what's happening. So we've got Fake by Explorer. Um, I think the system is infected. I think process also has been hijacked. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go grab a couple more links and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I've got some more links here so we'll just carry on with those. And hopefully we should have some activity happening. Alright, so something's definitely spawning here. Oops. I think I know that that way takes quite a long time to uh, boot itself up, so we'll just have wait and see what happens there. Now yeah, it's dead. See this one. Try it again. This one's got the same EXE. Mm. 
uh, all of those will just stop it there. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a quick scan with um, clan and um, we'll see what it picks up. Be right back. Okay, so I just did a quick scan, it found nothing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a scan with MDAM. And actually, what I'll do is I'll run a scan with Hitman Pro. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with the results of Hitman Pro. And all it found was some dodgy tracking cookies and a couple of files from the clan AV itself. But other than that, there didn't seem to be any... Um, major files so um, it found eight um, eight traces so it wasn't wasn't too bad um, if we open up process explorer there doesn't appear to be any of those hijack processes anymore so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to end the review there. I like the program um, and I like its interface and it's also got a gaming mode and a flash scan. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm, I've got to give it a rating out of 10 and um, I'm going to give it 6. 6 out of 10. Um, purely for the fact that it's very heavy um, the scans are quick and the fact that the updates took forever so it didn't get the full 10 but its protection rate was quite phenomenal um, one tip though if you use this program uh, try and use it with a program such as CCleaner or NDAM or Hitman Pro and always keep Process Explorer uh, running just to check out if there are any uh, unknown processes. So that's it for this review. Uh, 6 out of 10. They still have a little bit of work to do, maybe scale down the update sizes. But other than that, it did pretty well. So, uh, recommended. See you next time.